Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I have another tutorial for you on how to make a UK baseline base. Uh, this is a base that I really like actually that I made. Uh, so yeah, today I'm going to be showing you all how to make it. I should mention beforehand that this base is included in a sample and preset pack that I just released. It's called UK Baseline Essentials Volume 2. It's got over 100 base samples, over 20 serum base presets, and 11 drum samples in. Yeah, you can get that down in the description, but yeah, let's get straight into this. So, as you can see, I've got serum loaded up here. So, first of all, we're going to set oscillator 1 to 4088. I don't actually know what this means, but... It's just what we're using. So we're going to turn it up one octave and turn down the phase randomization. We've already done that. And then we're going to assign LFO1 to the level. And we're going to make a shape a bit like this. Obviously, the shape is up to you. And yeah, we're going to set it to envelope modes. Yeah. Uh, so next up, we want to set oscillator B to BS2. Acid, yeah, almost forgot the acid bit. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to turn this up two octaves. And of course, we're going to turn the level down and assign LFO one to it. So yeah, I think I said to make sure this is on envelope mode in a quarter. But if I didn't, you want to do that. Uh, and then we're going to turn on the filter section. You want to make sure it's on for both A and B. Then we're going to turn this down to 30 hertz, or thereabouts. And then we're going to assign LFO1 to the cutoff and set this to 65. And you can hear that's already making the distinctive kind of wub sound of UK bass. Uh, you can mess with some of these other parameters. You can turn the resonance up to however you like. Turn up the drive and the fat, but anyway, uh, we're going to turn on the sub, turn that down two octaves, turn the level down, and assign LFO one to that. If you're listening to this through phone speakers, you probably can't even hear the sub at the moment, uh, but you will be able to tell what it's doing in a minute. So we're going to turn on distortion, set this to asymmetrical mode. You want to keep the mix on 100%, and then we're going to turn the drive up to 80%. Okay, so next up we're going to turn on the reverb and set it to plate mode. I'm going to turn down every dial on here. And we're going to assign LFO1 to this and set this to 40. So yeah, that's pretty subtle. Uh, you might not be able to even hear it depending on what you're listening through. Uh, but anyway, I just added that because I think it helps improve the sound, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have added it. But anyway, uh, we're going to turn on the chorus, and we're going to turn low pass filter all the way up, and we're going to turn the mix all the way up. Then next up, we're going to go on to filter, miss, and turn it, to set it to combs. We're going to set the cutoff to 38. I forgot to mention that we need to turn the depth down, otherwise it's going to give us this horrendously wide bass, which we don't want. So next up we're going to turn on combs, as we've already done here. Uh, we're going to set the cutoff to 38 hertz. There we go. And we're going to set the mix to 35%. And yeah, we're pretty much there with that. And we're just going to turn up the gain. Obviously, we don't want to be clipping. Oops. But yeah, you can set the gain to whatever you want. Uh, whatever. Obviously, it depends on the levels in your mixer and stuff. But just to make it that bit louder. Uh, and yeah, we're pretty much there. Apart from, I'm going to turn on mono. Blind multiple notes with this, it just sounds ridiculous. And you can turn up the portamento uh, to get that gliding bass effect. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. As always, you can split this into two mixer tracks 
Uh, so you can cut out the base from one and then copy down how many hertz you cut off uh, and then do the same with a low pass filter. So yeah, high pass filter and a low pass filter. Then you can add some stereo effects to the one with the high pass filter and just process the sub and the high end separately and it can sound really cool. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So as I said, this is contained within the new sample and preset pack, which you can download in the description. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. Hoping to do a roller bass for drum and bass tutorial soon. So yeah, make sure you subscribe for that. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.